Alright guys, here we are with another tutorial for NR2003. Today I'm going to be talking about a little workaround for if your keyboard doesn't have F keys or if it doesn't have a pause break key and how you can uh, use a program to get around this and still use these functions within NR2003. Now this is assuming that you are using Windows and that you are using some sort of controller that is compatible with the program Joy to Key. I'm using a Thrustmaster T150 and it works perfectly with Joy to Key. So the first thing you're going to need to do is download Joy to Key. I will leave the link to the download in the description below. Uh, it is a very small download, easy install. I already have it set up on my computer, so we're actually going to tab into Joy to Key. This is what you'll see when you launch the program. Now with my T150 plugged in, if I press some of the buttons, you'll see that in Joy to Key, these buttons are lighting up as I press them. So let's say I want to bind the pause break key to the start button on my T150. As you see here, it's button 8. When I push the start button, that button lights up. So to bind this button, I'm going to double click on button 8, and it is going to basically be ready for my input on the keyboard, what I want to bind start to on my T150. But the issue we have here is that we don't have a pause break key on our keyboard. So the way to get around this is to open a program called On Screen Keyboard. I believe this program is in Windows 7, 8, and 10, so if you search for it, you will be able to open it. It is also in the control panel on the Ease of Access settings. So we open the On Screen Keyboard. We uh, double click on the Joy to Key, so it is now ready for our input, and we press pause. And now we have bound the start button on the T150 to the pause key on the keyboard. And that's all there is to it. When you launch NR2003, make sure you have Joy to Key open in the background. And now when I press start on my T150, it pauses and unpauses the game. You can follow these exact same steps for any key you'd like to bind to your steering wheel in the game. So if you want to change your F keys, you can put them on your steering wheel buttons. Uh, any sort of key you don't have available on your keyboard that is necessary for NR2003, you can bind in this way. I hope this video was helpful for you. Just a quick tutorial on something that I have seen some questions about in the community. If you are new to the channel, please consider subscribing. I do appreciate you for watching, and I will see you in the next one.